home. Thank God for another day. And the major shout out to my girl Patricia. And I definitely got to send a shout out to my girl I Rock on this video and everybody else you know around the world. Because she was looking, my girl Patricia was looking at the video I was saying on Willie Lynch. And when that part I was talking about light skin versus dark skin and how this stuff in the black not only in the black community, but around the world, is so stupid to me. And it's just my opinion. She wanted me to do this video, and I'm going to just give it to you real in this video. How stupid this is to me about who got the best looking her. And it's with men, too. The, the, the dark-skinned man versus the light-skinned man. You know, you hating on him because he got long hair. But I see this so much with women. Because you got natural hair versus weave all the time. And it, it, I just say it like this. What do you like? In the, and when you look in the mirror, what makes you look good is what makes you look good. Why are people having so much conflict about her? But well, once again, when you look at that Willie Lynch letter, take the dark-skinned nigga versus the light-skinned nigga. Yeah. You got more women having fallouts and fighting behind they her. Same with the men. It's on both sides. We, we, we always want to say that's a pretty boy. You hating on him because his hair is long and he's light-skinned. And then when you look at the women, it's the same thing. She's hating on her because she got natural hair. If you got natural hair and you love one of your natural hair, what's wrong with that? Why are you mad because you don't have natural hair or you choose not to do what you want to do? People, your image is your image. Me, personally, I don't care about none of this mess because, I don't mean to call it mess, but I don't care about none of this because if what you... What you like that makes you look good, that is what you like. You ain't got to go home and answer to everybody else. If your man like it, hey, men, if you like what your women look like and you love them, tell them you love them. Don't all this criticizing each other, man. And you got people getting killed behind this old mess, man. I see this all the time where I'm at. And I can't understand why it's such a conflict by you, you wearing your heart natural. Or with men, we got so many jealous men, jealous of the older light-skinned brother taking all the women. Oh, that's, oh man, come on, y'all. To me, this is such a stupid thing to fuss and fight on. Who am I to hate on anybody? Me and my boy Orange Flavor was talking about this because my brother Orange Flavor got long hair. I got a partner named Marvell that got long hair, and, and people are always hating on him because the women love to fit on his hair and tell him how good and how pretty he look because he's light-skinned with long hair, and the dark-skinned dudes got a problem with that. Yeah, and it makes no sense to me because, see, the thing is, you should be confident in yourself as a man or a woman. If you think you can get somebody, you need to get them. Yeah. Because if a person don't love you for who you are, you don't need to be around them no way. There's too many people trying to impress somebody. And you see this all the time. Oh, I remember when I used to go to the club, that's all I used to hear women talking about women. Oh, look at that B.O. Look at her hair. That's fake. So what? If she want to wear fake hair, let her wear fake hair. Man, what do that have to do with you going home? Asking to your man, you go home and ask to your man, why are you worried about her and her weaving of her? Same with men, why are you worried about the light-skinned brother with the long hair? Then we want to cuss him out. I'm going to tell you right now, JT don't have no problem with nobody. If you wear your hair long, I don't care. If you're bald-headed, I don't care because I'm not looking at your image, I'm looking at your heart. What you do is what you do. I would never judge somebody because they got long hair. Oh, that light skin, he taking all the women. Oh, he a pimp, he a player. Oh, look at her, she toe up, she ugly. Just because her hair ain't long and natural. No, what make you look good is what make you look good. I love to see the women with the natural look, wearing they, they natural hair. I love to see the women doing their thing in the beauty shop. Whatever make you look good is what make you look good, but why you gotta have conflicts about it? This is stupid and ignorant to me. And I'm not, I'm not down to nobody, trust me, but just speaking real talk, that is so ignorant and childish to me. Because what do your hair have to do with anything else? Really, what do it? And you got people fighting, having fights and, and killing behind, oh, her hair ain't real. 
I see so many, so many women hating on the women that wear their hair naturally. And then you see it the same way on both sides. You see the women that, that got all the tracks in their hair, and they always talking about the natural hair woman. Light-skinned women versus the dark-skinned women. Just like Willie Lynch did in the letter. Put the light-skinned nigga versus the dark-skinned nigga. And look at to this day. Here it is almost, two, well, it's 2011 now. 2012 will be 300 years and all. 300 years ago when Willie Lynch wrote this. And look how we act as black folks. Then you're getting mad at the white woman. Oh, she trying to be black. If somebody want to... I love to see somebody trying to mark our race. Because where we came from and where we at now, it's a beautiful thing. I love to see people wanting to mark our race. White people rapping and wanting to be black. You, you go down the street and see white people and black people in the car together, man, I love it. Because I'm glad to just see that some people can get along and ain't worried about no color. And we sitting up here fighting about her. Whether your hair is real or fake. I get so tired of being around men with that they hate, they hate, they hate. Man, I, you can't grow your, you, at, oh, let me say this like this. God blessed everybody different. God blessed everybody with certain genes. You got some people, see, it's all what's pleasing to your sight. What's pleasing to you and what you like. Just because you don't like somebody that got natural hair, they weren't weaving their hair, don't give you no right to criticize them. If you don't like it, somebody else do. Yeah. If you want to wear a wig, that's your business. You want to put on a toupee, that's your business. Who are we to judge? Who cares? God created you special. Either way it goes, whether you look at it. God created all of us beautiful. In his eyes, we are all beautiful. God ain't worried about who got the best hair, who got on the best clothes. Who got the biggest house? When you look at God, God don't care about none of this stuff. And we got the nerve to be sitting up here conflicting about her. I know some people that got killed behind this man. You got a fight that got started in the club. One thing that led to another. What was they fighting over? Oh, man, she was talking about her hair. So she done got shot up or stabbed up behind her hair because somebody was hating on her because their hair was natural or they had weave in their hair. Now somebody dead behind somebody's hair. Man, this is so stupid. It is so ignorant, and I don't know when we're going to get past this mess as black people. Oh, man, this is retarded to me, man. It don't make no sense. And you got people dying behind it. It's hard enough already living. We don't need no more drama in our lives. This is extra drama, extra stupid stuff. That's like me and Orange Flavor. I just tell Orange Flavor, I got a problem with you, Orange Flavor, because your hair is long. That is so stupid. I look at his heart. I don't care whether his hair is long or short, he is still the same brother who I love. And he always commenting me and sending me all kind of great messages, lifting me up. Who am I to say I hate you because of your hair? <laughs> I wish my hair was long. One thing about me, I love the way God made me. I can go in the mirror every day and tell myself I look good and I don't have no shame. I don't have, I, I, my confidence in myself is very high. I believe I can get any woman I want to and I don't even have to put on no front. But see, the thing is, JT, don't go out to know anything. <laughs> if you can't get up and look in the mirror and tell yourself you look good, you got a problem with yourself. What you need to do to make yourself look good, that is your business. Stop worrying about what everybody else is talking about and doing. <laughs> you got some women that don't even need makeup at all. They are so beautiful without even putting on makeup. And then you got the ones that's going to criticize them and tell them, oh, they got on too much makeup. It's just stupid, man. Oh, look at her eyelash. Look at her eyebrows. She uh, she got too much makeup on. She ugly to me. That's to you. What's ugly to you is fine to somebody else, whether you believe it or not. Because you can be the ugliest person in the world. Huh? But to yourself, you the prettiest person in the world. And I'm not calling nobody ugly. Huh? Just using that as a, you know, a little example. It's about what you like. I might be the woman today that I think that is so beautiful to me. And she might just be naturally. Don't have on no makeup. She's just fine to me and pretty with her natural look. And then somebody else gonna come right along and say, oh, she ugly, man. She need to put on some makeup or something. It ain't about what you like, it's about what I like. If I like it and I love it, the hell with what everybody else say about it. Because I'm not going home with everybody else. I'm going home with that woman. That's my woman. See what I'm saying? Like, we don't look at stuff like that. Just because somebody is ugly to you, you think the whole, everybody else gonna be on your team all the time. It's too many people going out the looks in the first place. 
And you, you, you hear the people that's always scoring on somebody. I hear me and all the time. Oh, but man, when I took her home, and she started taking off her fingernails, she started taking off her wig, she stopped, she was just ugly. She started taking off everything. Well, you look at what you go out there. That's why I always say, what, what makes you look good, it's, it's according to what you like. Because after she take up all her, off all her makeup and all her wig or whatever you were saying, she might be beautiful to somebody else. And we always quick to tell somebody they ugly. See, this old Winnie Lynch syndrome stuff, oh man, it's been going on for years. And I see this more and more, more and more of the light skin versus the dark skin. More brothers that's dark got a problem with light skin brothers with long hair. More women that got their natural look always getting charged up by somebody else. They talking about them. And they, they, I hate when they do the natural women like that with the natural look. Oh, she thinks she's better than us. Because she got her. Why are you mad at her because she want to wear her heart natural? That's her look. That's her image. That's her style. It ain't got nothing to do with you. You need to figure out what you like and stop looking at everybody else. It's stupid to me, man. That's why I love when people stand up and keep it real. I don't have no problem with nobody. What I love my, I love my brothers with dreads. I love my brothers with braids. I love my brothers where they bald headed. I don't care. They are still my brothers in Christ. I don't judge none of them. If they want to grow their hair out, that's fine with me. If they don't want to grow their hair out, that's fine with me. Sisters the same way. I love my sisters where they got them either. Whether they natural or whether they going to the beauty shop or getting whatever in their hair. Because what make you look beautiful is what you make beautiful. What make you look beautiful, but why get into it with everybody? Because you got tracks of weave in your hair. If the weave and tracks make you look good, no power to you. But don't criticize the woman that want to wear her hair natural. Because if she want to wear her hair natural, more power to her. And you got some women out here that just get discouraged behind this. More light-skinned women versus dark-skinned women. More dark-skinned brothers versus light-skinned brothers. We see it all the time. <laughs> pretty boys, they like, oh, I'm tired of these pretty boys. Pretty boys, they, they got, man, they getting all the women. And then your other brother say, oh, man, dark skin coming back in style. It's all about the dark skin niggas now. Come on, y'all. <laughs> it's all about us as people. I see no color. I see no race. God don't curl. If you're black, yellow, Hispanic, he, oh, man, God only see us as his children. I wish we could get to this point in this life down there. This is stupid, man. Ignorant. I wish people would wise up about life. Because you have had people kill behind this mess. One thing led to another. And you get to the bottom of the story, it was all behind the color. <laughs> Make me want to... I want to kill somebody because they weren't long. They got long hair. Man, I applaud everybody on what they want to do. I applaud them. Because one thing about JT, you'll never see him judge. Never have... Now, I'm, I'm, let me say that right. Never will from this day on. From I stopped judging people a long time ago. Because I told you, once I looked in the mirror, the biggest problem I had with myself was myself. And I had to tell myself, I got to make a change. I was my biggest enemy. That's why I talked to myself first in all these videos. I had to make a change. If I didn't like something about myself, let me work on it. God, let me say that right. God, work on me with it. And God took it all away from me. That's why I don't look at people for their color, their skin, or how long their hair is, or if they bald head and got hair at all, whether they wearing tracks in their head as women. I don't care about all that stuff. That's foolish to me. Man, I, when I became older, man, I, I really started looking at life a whole different way. I ain't got time to be getting all this old stupid, foolish stuff. This is ignorance. The Bible teaches us to be wise, not ignorant. How long are we going to keep walking around here in ignorance? Black. Versus black. Light skinned man versus dark skinned man. Read the Willie Lynch letter. If you still ain't wrote it yet, I challenge anybody to read it. And God bless you.